strange place for me to be is up on the bow of a boat but we're going to be trying a little bit of anchoring for an afternoon it's not a full day trip i'm out here called McSherry, one of mark gannon's boats with sean the skipper and taylor the crewmate we're going to anchor up and see what we can catch it is just check this view out people maybe three miles off the seven heads sean's going to try and find a reef area that he says is pretty productive um, just got a limited number of mackerel because we've been messing about doing another type of fishing but just look at it if I show you there we're just cruising along about four or five knots we've been fishing for tuna we haven't had anything yet but we're going to decide oh look there's a guy down there wave wave to the tourists there you go he's a good looking chap I will say that couldn't ask for a better day and there is not a breath a few birds been about we'll see what we can do see what we can find for you people we might try a bit of lure fishing dropping down on the reef and um, winding up see if there's anything there but I think principally I'd like to get a nice conger um, and it might be an outside chance for a ling which is one of the really good eating fish that we do get here so a bit of boat fishing and as you see is a big boat got all the gear and yes, they definitely do have a good idea. So in a few minutes, we're gonna be putting the anchor down. Hopefully you guys can see the sounder mark there. And Sean says this green is all fish here. So it'll be mostly pollock, you think? Pollock, yeah, mostly pollock. A few cod maybe, and some cold fish. Do you ever get ling on those really you on occasionally? You wouldn't pick the ling up in this. So the object of the exercise, what you do is you hit the bottom, you drop down, you hit the bottom with the reeling gear and then you wind up slowly. You're not supposed to, well you mustn't strike when you feel a pluck and you should get the fish on the way up, come up about a quarter or something like that at the depth, a third of the depth and you drop it down again and the boat's moving all the time. For beginners the boat's drifting and moving. And we're going to have an anchor later on. So my rig is 20 pound leader. One of these shads. A long trace. Then the lead clips on there. And a boom, which might be a little bit light for this. But you know what, I'm going to give it a go anyway. Let's get in the water. So I drop down at the bottom. Just going to do a nice steady smooth wind, not too fast almost erring on the side of slow until you feel anything plucking at the lure and then back down again a repetitive way of fishing but that's the way it works if you don't retrieve you're not going to get the action on the tail of the lure So we've tried a few drifts, be windy in the mic I dare say, um, we're going to go and anchor, nothing on the drift at all, I hope it's not going to be one of those afternoons, it could be a state of tide thing, uh, but we're going to go way up here and put the anchor down, that means we can fish bait, but we can also fish with the lures if you want. I usually just put the chain over the side now, like. put the chain over, just throw it over like that, then just leave it over. Yeah. And then throw, pick up the anchor and throw the anchor out. Then hit the water. So, throw it away from the boat now. Hold that then for a second just to straighten it. Yeah. Leave it go now. Yeah, I think I'll be able to bounce it back there. So, got running ledger rig there, just short boom on it. I'm going to try a squid. Got mackerel head on this one, and maybe a squid on that. Who knows? Quite a bit of tide still going that way. 
It's certainly clear, isn't it, Sean? You can see the squid, see the squid go down miles. So you can just see by those bubbles, the tide's still pulling to the back there. I think Sean said we've got a couple of hours of ebb tide still. What a day. Mind you, the easy way out is this. Make life easy. No, it's certainly not there. Oh. Oh, he hadn't this time. This side a bit, so I don't get it out. Of, oops, I don't get it out of a line. Sure. Wonder how many, many viewers will be give me comments about your tip ring, like you said. Well, loads of them are at it. They break tip rod tips and break off rings. You just ram them in the car generally. Think they're indestructible, they're not. It's true, it's true. It's like a lean to me. That'd be nice. First link since the last time I come here, because I don't get them anywhere else. Yeah, result. Result for me anyway. Oh, that was on the squid. It was the squid, and, and the uh, fast release hook. <laughs> yeah, good fish that one. Yeah, you like eating those? Oh, gorgeous! Ling, ling, I'd throw them down. Ling and pallet. That's that size, sort of that size, or smaller, or around about that size, mate. Good no, eating. This size way, but you better eating than the bigger fellas. Yeah, small, kind of nice, seven, eight pounders, a lovely teeth. And um, he's coughed up something down here. Jesus. I mean, I guess that. Uh, Jesus, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm going to get him in a minute. Jesus, you can't identify this fella now at all, but usually you can. He just coughed it up there now when we brought him up onto the deck. Jesus, I wouldn't, so even, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even have an idea what that is. Got it's got a sort of point to the, the nose. Yeah. yeah. All depends on what depth they're feeding at, I suppose. They're going to be near the bottom of a link, aren't they? Yeah, for sure. Jesus, they wouldn't come up more than five or six metres off the bottom, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, then you good. stick it back on a hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a very small bump on this one. I don't know if he's got it or not. I think he might be there. Just one more in there. I see he's there. Now he's dropped it. There was a bite there. Now he's a bite then. There he goes. Look, look. That's a good one. Has he got it or has he dropped it? I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Yeah, I think, yeah, not be big. Smaller than the last one, but still. Fish is a fish. It's better than mowing the lawn. I think this one swum all the way from the Isle of Wight just to see me. Oh no, it's actually a small bull hut. There we go. Yeah. Getting round in the light, you can see him there. That's a, 
That's a nice fish to catch. That's a leg in the ball, that's good fish. Dougie, that, that really means we should go home. It's a sign. Yeah. <laughs> Still there, is he? There he is. He's not even hooked. Look. He's just clamped on the bait, isn't he? Yeah, look. We got, he got he's got his, his dinner he as well. Dinner, yeah. <laughs> He swallowed it. He's, he's kept yeah. it too. We've been quiet people because I've been on this fish a while. Too too long. Hopefully we get him up and show it to you. It's a skate, but it's not like the skate I normally catch. Down off the Isle of Wight. If we get it up, because I'm on a 80 pound leader and Sean says they should be 300 pounds. <coughs> so if we get any sight of it, we will be dead handy. We've been on it a while. I think it might be tail wrapped, I don't know. I think he's a big one, is he? Hello, I just opened the gate, watch my legs. What's that other thing with him? There's something else there. No, that's his clasper, it's a, it's a male. It's a, it's, a, it's a small one though, isn't it? What's that bit at the back, the light colour? It's his claspers. The, I can't the, make a shape of them yet. Yeah, the clasp. Oh, he's coming up backwards, that's why he's so strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Can you see him in the screen oh, there? Oh, you've hooked literally in the tail. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Watch that, don't ping out. I'm trying to get him up here a bit. That hook's not coming out anyway, don't worry. Oh, don't say that, it's what breaks. Wow, I don't need any more tide. That's him, he's flapping his wings. Nearly, literally six inches. Yeah, go I'll on. do it, I'll walk him slowly. Yeah, go on, go over it. Guys, I can show you where, where this monster skate is hooked. No yeah, wonder my arms are killing me. Right in the root of the tail. And it's a real good skate there for me on that tackle. Look at that. There was no way that was coming out. We just went anchor there for an hour ago. In the tail. No wonder my arms are killing me. You can see the size of this one. Sean thinks it's under a pound on. Yeah, yeah, we've oh, it feels like 200 pounds, looking at it, coming in backwards against the tide in the tail. I had a lot of pressure on it, short trace. Actually, that might have been more than 80, I thought it was 80. We'll, we'll get them up here now. Yeah, brilliant. And that one's a male fish, you say? Yeah, you can see by its claspers. Oh, wow. <laughs> this big claspers, Erla. I'd be happy with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy with half of one. That's a lovely fish. <laughs> lovely fish well. I'm going to use a cloth because they got all these big spines up here. Wow, that's a good fish. What are the marks there? They, they're like thorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, they're, you know, the spikes that you get on a thorn back, right? 
bit bigger than the thorn back off the other way. Wow, please rest, let's get it back. Wow, that looks cool. Straight back down. Yeah. Well, we've got base back down again. And Taylor over here is hooked up. Nice pull, Huss. Took my bait about four times, lost him, kept dropping down. Kept, kept, kept dropping the fish and you just know it's a bullos because all they do is grab the bait and just suck on it. They eventually got him anyways. So you drop back down, you say, you know, if you're beginners, don't yeah. always just wind up, leave oh, it yeah. down there for a second or two. Leave, give him a chance to eat it. Yeah. Nice Good show.